Walker, and this is Walks on the Wild Side. Welcome to Walks on the Wild Side. Today I'm out doing woodland photography and let's get straight into it. First location is this wonderful corridor of pines with this bed of moss. Um, it's not long after sunset. If I turn you around you can see we're getting some sunlight poking through. So I'm set up to focus on the trees that are in light at the far end of the corridor um, but we're getting some of the sun coming through and bouncing off the trees that form the corridor so let's get straight into it I'm at f13 to get as much in focus as possible front to back um, ISO 1000 because it is still a little bit dark but um, that might change and I'm on about a one second exposure here. Um, in fact, I can probably just drop that a little. Um, so I've got a five second self timer and that's because I want to avoid camera shake, but also tripod shake. So on this bed of moss, it's a little bit uneasy and I want to make sure the camera is absolutely still at the point the exposure happens. So here we go. Five, four, three two one and there we go i love it I want to talk you through my thought process when I'm composing a woodland landscape. For me, woodland photography is all about making sense of the chaotic. There is lots and lots of things everywhere that you could photograph and it can be very tempting to try and get as much of that into the frame as possible. But that's not the best thing for the observer. Where does the eye get drawn to? where can the eye rest within the photograph so it's my job as a photographer to make sense of the chaotic 
and bring some order to the photograph. Now looking at this location, I think it's going to be about the colour. We've got greens, oranges, browns, yellows, silvers, and there's something in it there for the colour for me. As I'm walking around, I can see we have the green tree, which stands out against orange leaves around it, which could be interesting, but I can't find a way to separate the green tree from the rest. There's always something slightly blocking the shot. Um, there's a lot of fallen debris, branches and things on the ground. They could be interesting, but there's nothing I'm finding where I can really get a decent background against an interesting foreground. And then we have this area here where there's a straight line uniformity to these trees. But as we look up it, the trees are narrowing slightly towards me. So I'm gonna walk up to the other end because I think we've got a potential shot here. So I've now composed my shots. I'm aiming down the line of trees, using them as leading lines to draw the viewer's eye to that green bush at the far end. We're getting little flecks of colour of yellows and oranges coming in from the side on those leaves. Um, the wind has picked up a little bit, so the leaves are moving. I've had to um, use shutter speed of 1 25th of a second. Um, so I needed to bump my ISO up a little bit uh, to account for that. But the fact that it's starting to rain a little bit as well um, means the colours are starting to mute somewhat. Um, I've gone for a, a custom white balance on this um, that I, as far as my eye can see, as accurately uh, reflects what, what I'm seeing as possible. Um, so I'm really quite looking forward to this shot. So I've got it on a two second self timer to avoid camera shake. Let's give it a go. One, two, taken. Can't wait to show you this one. So I found this orange tree behind me um, set against a background of pines, um, which I really like the look of. Um, there's dappled light coming through the woodland everywhere. 
um, and it's just very quickly moving in and out. So I need to be ready to take this shot. So I'm going to take it handheld because I might need to be a bit more maneuverable than the tripod will allow me to be. I've got my um, polarizing filter on um, and look what happens as I move the polarizer around as it is it takes off some of the reflection of the sheen on those leaves and really starts to make the colors pop. Pop a little bit too much and then pull it back. Um, so I need to be ready. I probably won't be able to film at the time it happens because uh, um, it, it, it's gonna last for seconds looking at the way that the light is changing. Um, I'm just gonna sit tight for the meantime and enjoy the woodland. I'm surrounded by uh, long tail tits and nut hatches all singing away. Um, so I'm gonna sit back, enjoy the woodland and I'll show you the shot. As the day moved towards its end, I headed back to the car, but I couldn't resist one more shot of that first location, the Corridor of Pines. This time, shot from a further distance back with a greater focal length and zoomed in further towards the trees at the end of the composition. The light was very different with the sun now behind me instead of streaming in from the side. The upper foliage of the trees was illuminated whilst the bed of the wood was much darker. I'll leave you with this photograph to end today's video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and it'll help me to grow this channel and put out further content. You can also buy prints at my website, walksonthewildside.co.uk. But for now, thanks very much and I'll see you on the next video.